Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, All About VI. Uh, we have been learning the basic concepts of fabric workspace and related activities, right? Uh, in, in this playlist, fabric playlist, in the last video, we learned, last couple of videos I would say, we learned how to create a pipeline, okay, data pipeline, and then how to use a copy activity uh, uh, to move data from sample data set to lake house, as well as from ADLS Gen 2 to lake house. So these two types of copy exercise uh, we did in the previous couple of videos. So while we move data from ADLS uh, Gen 2 to lake house, uh, the type of authentication mechanism that we used was pretty straightforward, which is nothing but the account key based authentication, which is generally not recommended. It is straightforward, but yeah, it's not recommended. That's why we have to use something different, which is recommended as well as it's going to be easily manageable for the teams to work on. So in this video, what I'm going to do, we are going to uh, connect to ADLS Gen 2 from Fabric Workspace, but not using access key, but by using Workspace Identity. So we are going to learn something called Workspace Identity, how to create it, okay? How to create Workspace Identity and how to um, add role or permission in IAM in storage account in Azure. Okay, so basically ADLS Gen 2 is nothing but it's going to be a storage account um, wherein hierarchical namespace is enabled, right? So first step that we are going to see today is to create a workspace identity in Fabric. This is going to be in Fabric. And then we are going to add a role in IAM under storage account in Azure. And once that is done, we are going to use copy activity, okay? And we are going to create connection using the identity that we created in step one, okay? So this is the overall flow that we are going to see in today's session. So let's jump into Fabric now. So um, the first thing that we need to do is to go to Workspace. So I'll go to Workspace and then you go to Workspace setting and then go to Workspace Identity. There is nothing currently created. Workspace Identity is nothing but a, it, it's like a managed identity that we create in Azure, okay, for uh, attaching the identity with the resources for authentication. This basic process we all know. So in Fabric, you just click on Workspace Identity it will automatically create an identity for the workspace and will give that identity contributor access to the workspace. So what do I mean by that is, so the moment I created workspace identity, we are given with an ID for this identity and then uh, for this particular identity, contributor access is already given. As part of the identity creation, okay, Contributor access is provided to this identity that we are seeing, which is being created. Okay. So uh, this is step one that is done. I'm just closing this. And then we have to go to the storage account. So this is my storage account and I am under IAM. Here I have to click on add and then add role assignment. But before this, let me show you what happens when we do not do the step uh, and still try to connect to ADLS Gen 2 using um, the identity. Okay, so I'm going to fabric. I'm going to pipeline. We have a copy data. And then I will create a new connection for me. New to connection. Okay, under the authentication only, in the previous video, we saw that uh, we used account key, we hard coded the account key, which is not good. So let us use workspace identity, okay? And then we have to give the URL here. Uh, which URL? We have to go to storage account, and then go to endpoints. Under data lake storage, copy the primary endpoint that you are seeing, and come back to fabric, and then paste it, you will see an option to uh, connect, okay? But let us not use the existing one. We wanted to create a new connection, right? 
So I'm just pasting the URL, create new connection. My connection name is my YouTube connection. No gateway and then workspace identity. Okay, this is the setting that I'm trying now. Let me check if I can connect. Invalid credential. So something is wrong. Okay, we are not giving any credential, but it says invalid credential. Okay, let's go back to uh, AD, uh, ADLS Gen 2 and again IAM. Under IAM, I click on add role assignment. Here, let us search for some contributor roles, blob storage contributor. Uh, storage blob data contributor. Let us do this and then under member, I click on user group or service principal. So, here what we have to do is we have to give access to our workspace. So, what is our workspace name? Let's go back and then uh, my workspace name is YouTube workspace. Simply okay. So, let me search YouTube workspace, click on it. Do a select, review and assign two times, and we are done. So, step two is also completed. What we did, we created workspace identity in Fabric. Uh, okay, this is step one. We added a role in IAM in storage account in Azure. That is also done. I'm going back to copy activity now. So, going here, let me try to connect now. Now also it's not connecting. Let us refresh and create fresh thing. Okay. So I need my endpoint. Come here. And this new connection. I'll say connection this time and then I'll try to use the workspace identity. Okay, let me try to click again invalid credential. So, what I have done, um, I have gone to settings and then manage connections and gateways. I've deleted all the existing connections. So, it's I'm not deleting any identity that I created. I'm not removing the role. Those two steps are perfect. Okay. It's just that it's taking some time to reflect in the workspace. So I just wanted to get rid of all the uh, uh, recurrent or duplicate connections. So right now, the connections and gateways are clean. So let us uh, go back to the pipeline. Okay. I'm seeing the copy activity. And then I will add more. Same steps we are going to follow, nothing new. So, gen 2. Here I am pasting. Let's give ADLS gen 2. Gateway, nothing. Workspace identity. Simple. All right. Now, this time it, it is taking a little bit time after we provide a role in the Azure portal to reflect in the fabric workspace. Okay. So, just uh, wait for a couple of minutes uh, before which uh, you want to try something else. All right. So, now the source is set up. So, if you want to see if it is really going to work or not, just click on test connection. So, what is the benefit of it? Uh, we are going to access ADLS Gen 2 um, natively as if it is residing in the same workspace. There is no use of uh, connection string or there is no use of password or any kind of uh, key mechanisms or certificates. Nothing is involved. It's simply based on workspace identity. What we did, we created a workspace identity and then we provided a contributor role to the workspace itself. Okay, that is what we did. So we are able to connect to ADLS Gen 2. Uh, from here onwards, however, we want to use ADLS Gen 2 for copying files or folders. We can do that. So this is the one thing that I wanted to concentrate in this video. I hope this is useful for you. If you run into any issues while you try to replicate this, please let me know in the comment section. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe.